In this demonstration, we're going to look at Cordis Operations Intelligence. Many organizations have massive amounts of data built up over many years, both static data and real-time data. This historically has been very difficult to manage, very difficult to monitor, and especially very difficult to view in any real-time nature. Cordis Operations Intelligence provides a solution to these problems by connecting to operational data and providing a unique way for business users to interact with that data. Business users are able to access real-time data. They can manipulate that data in a way that they're used to through the use of spreadsheets. They can create dashboards and graphs of operational data to visualize what's going on in the organization. And most importantly, this can be done with very little training by business users without any dependency on IT resources. In the demonstration, we're going to look at how a business user can use a new graphical modeler within the Cordis environment to connect to the backend data source, model some data within that data source, perform some calculations through the use of common tools like Excel, and then visualize that data in the form of a portal. We will also demonstrate how this is intuitive for the business user, can be performed with very little training and certainly without any input from IT. So let's get into the demo. In the demonstration, we're connected to monitoring data from thousands of sensors within an, a refinery. And what we're going to do is create a new smart model in order to visualize data from some of those sensors. Simply right click, select new smart model. And when the smart modeler opens, I can build my visualization. The first thing we need to do is from our start activity, we need to define how this application will run. So we're going to select a start condition. And in this case, the start condition will be time-based. It could be event-based. Um, and for the purposes of the demo, we're going to select this activity to run every minute. Simply save this, and then we can start building our model. The first activity within the model is to connect to a data source. And the data source has already been defined. And as a business user, I can simply double click on this data source and it will show me a hierarchical view of all of the data from all of the sensors that are being monitored. I'm gonna navigate through this hierarchy and choose the Blue Star Refinery as the monitoring point and simply say, okay. And the next thing we need to do is configure a visualization to display the data which we are actually trying to monitor. To do this, I simply again click, and in this case, I choose a visualization. And when I configure the visualization, I can provide a title, I can provide options on how to view the data, so chart, tree, etc. We're going to choose chart. And if I switch to the data binding tab, we can choose the period which the graph is going to display, and most importantly, the values which we want to see on that graph. What I now see is a hierarchical view of all of the sensors which are being monitored within this Blue Star Refinery, which I chose earlier. And if I scroll down, I can navigate through to the monitoring points which I want to visualize. In this case, it's a freshwater feed and a recycled feed. We're going to choose to monitor both and say OK. What we can see now is I have two sensors which I'm monitoring the data from, and I can choose the colors if I want to visualize those on the graph. As we're connected to the data source, I can simply hit preview, and this will display me a preview of the data for the last hour, which is the time period which we selected. And if I maximize this window, we will see the last hour's worth of data for the two sensors which I've chosen, in this case visualized through a Microsoft SharePoint portal. What we're going to look at next is how we can perform some calculations on this data to display new data within the same visualization. So let's close this and go back to our model. And what we're going to add to the model is a calculation. So again, I simply select the calculation artifact on my model, place it on the modeler and double click to configure. What we'll notice is this opens Microsoft Excel, which as a business user, I am of course used to using. And it will also populate with the data from the sensors which I'm monitoring. Once loaded, I can see the attributes on the left-hand side, 
and I can choose to take the attributes which I'm currently monitoring and perform calculations on those. So let's scroll down and choose the two attributes which I'm currently monitoring and add those to my spreadsheet. Once added, we can see those attributes and we can also see their live values. Now what I'd like to do to perform a calculation is take the average of these two values. So I simply switch to the output tab and I create a new attribute, which I will call average. And I need to calculate the average of the two fields from the input, which is simply the average of the fields on the previous tab. And once this is done, I can save and close my spreadsheet. And I've created a new value which I can now add to my visualization. To do that, we simply configure the visualization as before, switch to data binding and values and add a new value, which is the calculated average which we just defined. Once that value is added, we can see it in the list with the color which will be used to represent it in the graphic. And all we need to do now to display our new average value along with the original values which we chose is simply start the schedule. What that means is we are now monitoring all three values and recording those once every minute and then click on view the page to view the visualization that we've created. Once loaded we can now see the two original values which we chose to monitor and also now the calculated average value running between the two. So what we've seen in this demonstration is the capability provided by Cordis Operations Intelligence to connect to back-end data sources with large amounts of data and provide a simple way in which business users with very little training can connect to that data, perform calculations on that data, and then visualize that in a portal environment. Mm -hmm.